Okay, so we're on Serif and I just want to show you the Layers tool. Now, the Layers tool should sit over here on the right-hand side. So if you can't see it, you just go into View, you go into Tabs, and you click on Layers. Okay, there it's there. All right. So I've got it sitting out here. Currently, I've got Layer 1. I'm going to add in another layer called Layer 2. I'm going to add in a third layer. And I'm going to add in a fourth layer. I do have a master layer, but I'm not going to use it for the purposes of this. I'm just going to lock layer 4, 3, and 2. And at the moment, I'm going to work in layer 1. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some kind of background kind of shape. Let's just put in a rectangle. And I'll just very quickly add in a kind of purpley background, like so. So I need to be careful. I'm kind of dragging that all over the place there. Uh, all I want to do is just get rid of that outline. Okay, so I'm happy with that as my background, so I'm going to lock it. I'm going to unlock layer 2, and I'm going to pop something else in. I'm going to put in another rectangle, and maybe I will put something down here. Now, as you can see, I was on layer 1. It was telling me it was locked, so I need to make sure I've clicked layer 2. That will allow me to then draw in something. I'm just going to draw in a simple white uh, rectangle. I'm just going to take the outline off like so. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to lock layer 2. And now I'm going to unlock layer 3. I'm going to put a wee title in so we'll get the text tool to work. Make sure I've got layer 3 selected. And I'm just going to type in a wee title here. Make it a little bit bigger. Maybe rotate it a wee bit. Change the font style maybe. Make it even bigger, actually, something like that. That'll do me. I'm not even bother adjusting the color. And I'm going to lock layer three. I'm now going to unlock layer four, and I'm going to add in a picture. Insert picture from file. Find a picture that you want to use. So I'm going to use Vision from the Wonder Vision series. If you've been watching it, and just pop pop him on like so. Stretch them just a wee bit bigger. There we go. Now, as you can see, I've got my four layers. I can turn the visibility of them off. So I'm going to turn the visibility of layer four off. And what that does is it removes, removes that image of the character vision. I turn the visibility of layer three off. It removes the, the title vision, etc., etc. Now, why would we want to use layers? Well, First of all, it keeps us organized. It means we can work on specific parts of the document. So if you only want to focus on the background, I would be working in layer one. All other layers, I would lock and turn the visibility off. The other great advantage is that what you can do is you can uh, put things in the background and the foreground. So you're creating emphasis and dominance. You're creating a sense of depth within your uh, promotional display that you're creating. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense with regards to the use of layers.